So why combine mathematics with economics? Well, there's a lot of really big economic problems that we're facing as a society today. Like, why is there so much inequality and why is it only getting worse and not better? In some sense, mathematics and economics are natural partners. If you think about how we, we make an economic theory, then mathematics play a critical role, uh, both in how we formulate our theories, what is the content of the theory, as also in the way we connect that to the data, how we test our theories using a lot of data, then both mathematics and economics are really interrelated. Why are some countries rich while others are poor? Now, these are really big questions and we haven't been able to tackle them with existing economic models. So in order to make progress with them, you need new models. But for that, you need to have new mathematics. That data analytics, using data to answer that type of problems, that all requires deep mathematical skills. And that's what you acquire by taking this bachelor. So I'm now doing a mathematical modeling project where uh, I'm combining the uh, financial option theory with the uh, development of a new medicine. And uh, in a certain way, these uh, two subjects can be uh, combined. And that's a perfect example of where mathematics and economics come together. So what is really great about the double bachelors is that from the very beginning, you combine both the economics way of thinking and the mathematics way of thinking. So that you can think both like an economist and a mathematician. And that's really what's necessary to uh, tackle today's big problems. So in the education, we teach the fundamentals, we teach the basis, but then in the project, we apply these techniques and uh, even in uh, cooperation with a bank we do like things like sustainable risk management. We try to see how risk and return are balanced in such a way that it is future proof. Another thing is anti-money laundering. Uh, together with banks we look at anti-money laundering. You don't want any suspicious customers in your banking clientele. And therefore, the mathematics of anomaly detection, looking at a needle in a haystack, that is something that we try to help uh, by means of proper mathematics. And then the ideal combination of assets and bonds, and maybe cryptocurrencies, who knows, uh, that should be mathematically modeled and understood. From my own experience, so mathematics, pure mathematics is important, but it's not enough. If you want to find such a position in the bank, you also need to have some knowledge from the finance world. If you do have this combined background, then I think it's perfect for, the, for any positions in the bank. Well, I discovered that uh, I really like financial mathematics, so that's mathematics uh, applied on the uh, economic theory. That's why I think I want to work at a bank or an insurance company. At such a position, I am able to combine all the skills and knowledge that I require during this bachelor program. I've chosen for Utrecht University, first of all, because this is a unique program, what's only offered here. And next to that, I really like the city of Utrecht. So the city is uh, big, but it feels really small and cozy, and I really feel like home here. You do not only meet uh, students from the Netherlands, you also meet students from other countries. There are also several campuses uh, that Utrecht University has. At these campuses, I can study with my friends, I can meet my friends, and I really like it. So there's a lot of different jobs you can do after finishing this program. So you can go into research, that's uh, a really good option. You can also decide to go work for the government, say as an economic economic policy analyst, or you can work for a consultancy company. Top consultancy companies often recruit among mathematicians and physicists, but with this background in economics that you get in the new double bachelors, you're even more attractive to them.